2006 MP3 players. Remember, they were all the rage. You're probably thinking, Apple iPod. Nope, that's not what we're talking about today. Guess what? We're talking about today, the Zoom, the very underrated MP3 player of our time. Yes, this baby, in my opinion, is better than an iPod. So why'd it fail? Oh, and I probably should mention that this is not sponsored by Microsoft. They did not send me this unit to for review. So, in case you're wondering. So in 2006, the Zoom came out. The very first one, there were several others iterations of the Zoom, but we're really gonna be focusing on the original release. A little bit, I'll touch a little bit on the other ones as well, but mainly just, we're talking about this guy right here. Now me personally, when I found out about the Zoom, I fell in love with it immediately, instantaneously. So why, why aren't Zooms made today? What happened? Why'd they disappear? Well, I'll give you some of my, my best guess as to why it failed and why it's a joke in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So let's, let's briefly go over some of the cool features that the Zoom had to offer. So right out of the gate, it had 30 gigabytes of storage on this thing. And it also had a three inch screen, uh, non-touch screen. Touch screens hadn't been, uh, hadn't come out yet. It weighed 158 grams, so it was fairly light. It came in a couple different colors. It came in black, brown, white, apparently hot pink. I don't remember hot pink, but it sounds kind of cool. Wish I'd gotten that one, kind of. And there were several li limited edition versions, different colors. I won't, won't, won't go into those, but there were several limited edition ones. It had a circle directional pad uh, with a button in the center. It had a battery life of 12 hours of listening to music and about four hours of video playback. Yes, this thing played videos, AKA movies on the device. It's pretty incredible. And so there's some other features that you may not have known this baby could have done, which in my opinion, it pushed it right over the edge as far as the best MP3 player of its time. This thing could connect wirelessly to other Zooms. Yeah, you could connect to your friend Zoom and share stuff together. What? That's incredible. And the thing had freaking Wi-Fi. <laughs> What? Yes, you can connect to the internet. I mean, not really actual web browsing internet, but you can connect to the internet and access the marketplace and download music and download podcasts and some and various other things, movies and some stuff. I think you can even get games on it as well. I know it came preloaded with some games, but I believe you can even download some games as well. And there was no other device that was out at that time that had those types of features. And it also had an FM radio. You could listen to radio on the damn thing. What? It's built like a tank. This thing is solid. It is a, it's a brick, but it's not heavy, but it's just built extremely well. And the best part is it costs $250. $50. This device here is my personal one that I had bought when I was 17 years old. I got my first job, summer job, I was working construction, and I bought the Zoom, and I also bought my first car. They paired well together because I was able to listen to my Zoom in my car. It was amazing. I had a Camaro, by the way, and it was awesome. And I think I even have the original receipt in here. Let me look. There it is, the original receipt. You can barely see it. Uh, it's a little faded. Uh, but it was $249.99. But my brother worked at Fred Meyer, actually he still works at Fred Meyer. So I was able to get a small discount on this baby. It's like I paid $224.99 for this little puppy right here. It was worth every penny. I used this thing for years and it still works. Pull this baby out, charge it up. A little time capsule of what I was listening to in high school. It has some funny pictures. Some I can't show you. No, I'm just kidding. There's nothing, that, nothing like that out here. So briefly, what came in the box was the charger. This guy right here came with a charger. Uh, it came with some headphones, which I, I've lost those. They were actually really neat because they, when you wrap them up, you could they actually had little magnets on the back and they clicked together and they, and they locked in place. So they wouldn't really go anywhere. They wouldn't get tangled up. What? It was amazing. Uh, it came with a little uh, cloth pouch. You could put the uh, zoom in. I since lost that as well, unfortunately. Uh, and then it came with CD-ROM. Remember those? You remember CD-ROMs? Yeah, it came with CD-ROMs. So I could load up the software. Came with a little quick start menu, a little uh, instructional guide. Uh, came with, oh, that's where the, the little pouch went in. I don't have the pouch, unfortunately. Another little product guide. Uh, let's see what this has to say. 
a bunch of words. There's a bunch of words in here. I do love the, the product boxing. It's very nice when you open it up, you're presented with the Zune and you, these little doors open up and it, the headphones were in here and on the other side they had the, the, the charger. It was very nice. Welcome to the social. It's very high quality uh, packaging. But after seven models of the Zune, it was discontinued. I think in 2011, if I remember right, maybe 2012, it was officially just gone off the marketplace. They only made it a few years and it was sad. It was very sad for, for to find out the stuff. The thing that did really suck and could also be the reason why of its downfall, it was the software, not on the device, but on your computer to get the music and get the files on this thing was kind of kind of sucky it was kind of atrocious and and, and it, it was bad it was bad uh, even though itunes i will say isn't that great either i think it, there's a lot of improvements that could be done on that uh, but the zune one it was it was terrible it was trash i've actually been tempted just to buy a, 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 a zune hd just just for kicks and play around with it maybe i will if you guys want to see me do that I'll leave a, uh, some comments below and maybe I'll make that happen for you guys. So now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. Like, Come on, Chris. iPods were out then. Those were the kings. That's still the kings to the day. And I mean, you're, you're right. They were out and I think the downfall of the Zune was the fact that they were late to the game. Even though the first year of, of sales, they were ranked number two behind Apple as far as MP3 devices. Uh, which is pretty amazing. Apple already put a strong uh, impression out on the market and a strong foot down saying, yes, we are king. And Zoom, Microsoft, comes out of nowhere, puts out an MP3 player, and, and instantly is number two, gave Apple a run for their money. It was $50 cheaper than the best iPod you could get at the time. The video iPod was out and it had 30 gigs and it was $299.99, $300. This guy had the same amount of gigs and it was $50 cheaper and it had more features than the iPod did but it didn't last very long and people say the iPods just were superior and outlasted it but I don't think that's actually the case because the following year after this bad boy came out the iPhone came out and I think the iPhone is what killed most mp3 players because it was an mp3 player and also a phone but also i, I mean apple had already been out for so long and it's just it's just people were just already accustomed to getting those so i think that's also part of the reason why that the zunes disappeared i mean the zune was ahead of its time in a lot of ways zune probably would still do pretty well in the marketplace to today if they switched over to making mobile devices i'd buy a zune phone yeah I'd, I'd definitely buy a Zune phone. Why, why did it fail? I think it was just because the smartphone world came out and that's what it killed pretty much all MP3 players. The last model of the Zune, it was the HD model and it was pretty incredible. It had 33 hours of battery life and like I think eight or nine hours of video playback. Pretty insane, it, it was huge. I never got that one. This is the only one I ever got. I, I used this to death until I got my first smartphone it wasn't an iPhone though, it was a Blackberry, and I even carried this around in conjunction with my Blackberry, um, but I do regret buying that Blackberry, it was pretty terrible. And then I got an iPhone and it was game over, and it just kind of faded this guy away, just But I was pretty excited when I saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and they brought this out, I was like, yes, I can bring it back out, I can use it with my Star-Lord cosplay, uh, even though it's the wrong color, the his was the brown one, which I regret. I should have got that one better man it was better you could play games you could play movies you could play music you could get on the internet you could listen to the radio this thing was built like a tank you drop an ipod that thing was done that thing was like it was like it was thin i mean it was nice it had like a little touch wheel which was super cool but this thing you can drop it and it was like who cares pick it back up and start listening it was amazing so that's it guys what do you guys think do you have a zoom did you have a zoom did you want a zoom do you think the zoom was amazing do you think the zoom was trash and it deserves to stay in the trash, stay in that dumpster, stay in that landfill? Leave a comment below, let me know. We'll have a discussion about it. So thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. I'm gonna do a, little, a lot more of these little quick flashback episodes on cool technology. Thanks for watching guys and be sure to check back and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.